Eugene, y'all are so pretty. It was so nice when you all came in and you were all happy and smiling. <laughs> you remember that? We were like that once. And we can be again. Yeah! Um, this is uh, the jump off to our tour. Uh, this is our first show. Woo! <laughs> And uh, there's nowhere else uh, I want to be. I love Eugene Slam. I lived in Denver. Chris lives in Portland. Um, and uh, when we figured out our schedule and found out this was going to be the first place, I was immensely stoked because Jora is my heart. And uh, Deshaun is um, one of the most amazing people and well-dressed men I've ever met in my life. Makes me look like an asshole. <laughs> But um, we're, we're just really happy to be here. Thank you so much. This is going to be my last poem. Chris is going to come up. He's going to do one more for you. Um, if you like what you heard, we are going to be in the back in the break. Uh, we'll, we have books for sale. And um, even if you don't want to buy a book and you just want to come say hi. Uh, we, uh, we love hugs. <laughs> we were weaned too soon from our mothers, so we are very clingy. Very clingy. On that note, <laughs> this is my last poem of the evening. My name is William Stanford Knudsen. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> that I have missed the lullabies of far off train songs the Sunday morning hymnals of chickadees and bleary-eyed commuters that I haven't been sleeping well. I slipped into strangers' beds on too many nights. They left scratches down my back, like road maps to all the wrong places. I do not like the stranger I am in their arms. That the clouds don't break here. Just circle like hungry vultures that whenever thunder rumbles, I wait for heaven to drop, that heaven always drops. Gets my clothes wet, makes me tremble. I have been shivering myself smaller than my father taught me to be. That I miss his hands, crooked fingers, and soft palms from the pottery wheel. That I miss the mountains where his hands first reached out for my mother's, where they crafted me and taught me how to love that I have forgotten how to love. I snicker at the hint of any spark that this is where I left her. That the mirror is a stranger. The reflection a theft. I stole myself from myself and I left him somewhere else that maybe I can find him. Crooked smile, ragged cough, bare knuckle believer in battling the dark in me, the dark in me. There is so much dark in me that I don't know how to dig out, that I might stand taller, be, breathe deeper, be more than just a stump in the wake of clear cut waiting to be fashioned into another bar stool. I've been there. I have been that bar stool. And you tell me that you love me, but you love a fool. And I could give a hundred reasons why I have to go. But the truth is, I'm too tired. I grew old instead of up in these walls. I ache crusades, but fight myself without faith. And I will not let my father's hands have crafted a martyr. So I leave, because that is the last thing that I know to do that is true. And I know that going is a white flag, that this will be seen as Failure, but you have to know and believe me when I tell you that I do not go to give up. I go because I know that there is more to me than me out there, and I'm going to find him. That I might stand taller, breathe deeper, pull him out of the darkness and say, Look, motherfucker, <laughs> we're not giving up this time. Not this time, kid. Not this time. For the last time, welcome up Chris Lee, John. Thank you so much.